So in this video, I am going to talk about how you can convert your strings into corresponding date. So if you have a date in your string, how you can convert that particular date into the date time object. So hey guys, it's Vishwit. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's start with the video. So in the previous video, I showed you how you can convert your date time object in and convert them into a string. Okay. And in this video, I am just going to do the opposite. So for example, if you are given a string object or a string data, how you can convert that into your corresponding date time object. Let's uh, first demonstrate this scenario. So before talking about the string conversion into a date time object, there happens to be a function that I skipped and I'm going to explain that function over here. So if you remember, we talked about the time delta module, right? So if I import date time, so if I import date time dot time delta, so we were supposed to pass many arguments like the days, seconds, microseconds. So if I pass days as maybe one and if I print it, so definitely we are getting a time delta object with days as one. Now, if I want to know how many seconds this particular days has, so definitely we can calculate, but there is another function called as total seconds. Now, if I execute this, let me close this one. If I execute this, so it is able to give you the number of seconds. So this total seconds was an, a function that I missed out so i explained this total seconds in this video so let's suppose if i pass two it is going to give us the corresponding seconds for two days so pretty easy to find out the total number of seconds and we can utilize this total number of seconds in maybe our string formatting or anywhere we want like time dot time okay so let's talk with this like today's videos topic so it's like converting your string from date time object. But before that, let me show you uh, like how we converted the date time object into string. So it was very easy. For example, if I want to convert my date time object into string, so date time dot date time, maybe I want to take current date and time. So if I do dot now, so it is picking up today's date and time. Okay, let me save in this into a variable now if i do d dot string format it should be str f t i m e now if i pass the particular maybe the particular date formatting like maybe for day it is percentage d for month i will pass percentage capital b and maybe for the year I will pass capital Y. So definitely we are getting 6th March 2023. So like we are, we are able to convert our date time object into the string object, right? This is the string object. So how, how we can convert back to this date time object. So we, now we had, we are given a string object. Let's suppose this is the string object we are having. Okay. So I'll give this is as the string object. Okay. Now I want to convert this string object in back to our date time object, right? So how to do that? So it's like date time dot date time dot strp time. And here in the first argument, I have to pass the string that I want to parse. And here I have to pass the directives like uh, which all fields represents what. So maybe for 0, 06 it is percentage D. So I have to mention percentage D. So percentage D, then there is a front slash, then percentage B, then front slash percentage Y. So if I do that, so I'm getting the date time object. So this returns, this particular function returns our date time object back. So definitely 
I showed you how you can convert your date time object into strings and from strings back to date time object. Okay, so pretty easy, right? But not so fast, not so fast. So it's like converting our date time object into the string object was a pretty easy task. So here I can definitely say like today's today's date is okay i can say this very easily and it will print it exactly like today's date is 6 march 2023 but now you have this particular string right maybe i can give a yep single quote so today's date is 6 march 2023 pretty easy right now if i want to convert this particular string back into the date time object so it's not a very easy task so like if i if this is the string this is the string object obj and this string object contains this data now if i want to convert it back so it's like date time dot date time let me keep some space dot strp time now if I pass like percentage D then front slash percentage B front slash percentage capital Y what do you think is going to happen okay so if I do shift enter it is going to give us an error value error I guess okay sorry I, have to, I need to pass the string object comma and the formatting so string object and the particular formatting and if I do shift and enter definitely you are going to get a value error okay and the reason being so when we are passing this string object we are not only passing this particular date but we are also passing this string right so this string passing time so this is string and the p for here is for pass and this is the time so the string pass time it is not able to understand what this particular string is so today's date is so obviously these are not directives right so this doesn't make sense these are just a simple string so definitely we can't do like this okay so what i mean by that is your string object okay should match with this particular formatting got it so for example my string started with today's i should give a, a escape sequence so today's date is if i do it in this way so this particular date this particular string formatting is matching with our string object right so it starts with today's date is so today's apostrophe is then space then date then space then is then space is then semicolon then space then our date starts so like that today's single quote is then date then space then is then space then semicolon then space then the particular date formatting even in the date formatting it should match like uh, for for date it should be percentage d and there should be a front slash okay and then there there is march so that is percentage b then there is again front slash and then there is percentage y for the particular year and then our string end so if we pass like this so yep then we are able to ex then we are able to create the date time object from our particular string so converting our date time object into string it's an easy task okay but this is not very easy like i should say this is not easy because we don't know what our, what the string might contain right but anything anything that we want to convert like for example this is a date time object anywhere in the string we place the directives we are able to get the string right so for example i created this one the date time that time not now so anywhere i place the directives 
I was I, that particular directives were replaced by the particular date information, right? But not easy to convert the string back into the particular date time object. So this is one thing you have to be very clear. Now how you can do it? So definitely you have to extract this. So there is no other way that I know. So the immediate thing that comes in my mind that you have to extract this particular date. For so for example, if you have a whole string like that, and if you don't know what this particular string is, it it can be anything. So the best way is to extract this. So if there is any kind of particular formatting, like maybe if there is a space, you can use dot split function to take away this date part, and then you can format. Let's 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 do it. Okay. So, for example, I don't know what this particular string is. Okay, maybe it is something, but I know only one thing that there is a space before our date is starting. So, how I can do that? So, maybe I can do string object. So, this is the string object, and maybe I will do a right split, not r index r i g h t. I uh, I should be able to do right split r i g h t. Split and based upon the space, do we have a function? I think it is not right split. It is R split. Yep, it's not. It's R split. So here, here using the R split, I was able to filter out this part. Right now, if I target this, this is nothing but minus one, right? Because this is at the end. So minus one. Now, if I do minus one, I am able to get this particular. Uh, date formatting. Now this is the string, right? Now I need to pass the string inside a, a the st a string pass time function. So now what 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 I can do is so for example, we take date time dot date time dot str p format. Now the format being like the string that I want to send, if it passes the first argument is this particular string, which I extracted, and then I have to pass the particular formatting, which is percentage d forward slash percentage m forward slash percentage y. And if I do shift enter, okay, why we are getting an uh, error? Because I think I get percentage m, which is for minutes. It should be pers It should be percentage m, small m. If I do shift enter again, we are getting an error. So why it is saying doesn't match? Okay, I'm so sorry. It's not percentage m, also it's percentage capital B. Now if I do shift enter, see we are able to get the date time object, right? So like this is the thing that you have to do. Fine. So I explained to you how you can convert date time object to strings and how you can convert the string date time object. And there was a function that I missed out, which is a function related to the time delta function, like uh, the total number of seconds that we can calculate from a time delta object. What this time delta object signifies? It signifies a particular duration of time. And if you want to know the total seconds of the duration, we can do this particular dot total seconds. So I hope this video was little bit helpful. If you found this actually helpful, please do press that like button. And as always, thank you for watching. I am going to see you in an awesome upcoming programming video.